Right now, there are hundreds of missing children in Virginia. It makes sense that a photo would help someone somewhere recognize them. But as I learned in this News 3 investigation, police haven't submitted photos of dozens of missing children here at home. Across Virginia, nearly 500 children are missing, according to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children's database. Police say many of them ran away from home, like 15-year-old DeAndre Rosenthal of Norfolk. Former Norfolk Police Chief Larry Boone says runaways are still in danger. Even if they chose to run away, this world being what it is, they can find themselves on the other side of a gang. Or the victims of sex trafficking. Data shows one in seven runaways get lured into the evil industry, which is why the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children says getting photos from local law enforcement is key to help find kids. It is really important and helpful in order to have the image of the child so that we can share it with the community and nationwide if we need to. That's why I was shocked to see no image submitted by the investigating agency for nearly 200 missing children in Virginia. No image for 11-year-old Jacob Newman from Norfolk. No photo for 12-year-old Jemiah Ingram Clark, also reported missing from Norfolk in August of 2020 when she was 10 years old. Norfolk police tell me they have no indication they're in danger, but get this. My research revealed of the nearly 70 children reported missing from Norfolk on the database, more than any other city in our region, almost 50 have no photo submitted. That was troubling when I saw that, because how do you help find someone that you don't have an image of? I won't put it totally on uh, the parent or the guardian. Um, I, I do know there have been times where law enforcement um, fell to ask, and, and I'm speaking from a position of experience. According to federal guidance for missing child reports, each missing report should include a recent photograph of the child, if available. The if leaves it up to investigators on how far they'll go to find a photo. I've seen investigations in my time where the investigator might have um, not been as determined as he or she should because of the person's history of chronically running away. Boone says that a lack of empathy from some investigators is part of the problem. So is a lack of manpower in police departments and a lack of cooperation from some parents. It doesn't help the investigator when he goes and speaks with the parent. They have a very nonchalant attitude as well. Norfolk is far from alone in the missing picture problem. Look at Richmond. The National Center's database shows nearly 60 missing children there as of late September. More than 40 didn't have a picture connected to their cases. And in Newport News, of the nearly 30 missing children on the database, about a third don't have an image either. A police spokesperson there said most of them were runaways and none of them are considered in danger. Derrica Wilson with the Black and Missing Foundation is frustrated. These are children. They are missing. And that is unacceptable. Given that negative perception in society is, if you're labeling them as a runaway, Whatever happens to him or her while they're out there, they brought it on themselves because they ran away. That is part of the issue. I can tell you from experience, you know, you see an individual that is a chronic person that runs away. Um, you don't take it as seriously as you, you should. That's why DeAndre Rosenthal's parents flooded Norfolk intersections themselves with flyers to help find their son. He's still out there by himself without his parents regardless of whether he decided to run away or not, he's still endangered. His parents tell us Norfolk police are involved. His picture is on the National Center's database. Boone says until tougher policies, more staffing and more empathy are in place, it's the best way for a missing child's case to get more attention. When those folks that are most vocal about an issue, they'll get the attention and they'll get the resources that they deserve. Now, my investigation revealed missing images for children in all of the seven cities at some point this year. Suffolk was the only police department that responded and provided us with a photo of a missing child that wasn't previously there. And here he is. This is 14 year old Isaac Ruiz. He has been missing from Suffolk since January. He doesn't speak English. If you know where he is, contact police and help reunite him with his family or caregivers. Now, there are several resources to help parents if their children go missing from the Black and Missing Foundation and the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. 
We'll have that inside this story at WTKR.com. You'll also find my extended conversation with former Norfolk Police Chief Larry Boone about how race and poverty play a role in the number of missing cases and how deeply they're investigated.